Hey guys and welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Today we're going to be doing a video on exterior styling and what I mean by that is what options you have available to you for grills, bumpers, diffusers and spoilers. Before we get stuck into it I just want to say a thank you to everyone who sent me the pictures. Um, all the pictures you'll see today are of real life car owners. Um, I'll put their Instagram tags at the bottom so go and give them a follow and show your appreciation for the TT community. Right let's get stuck into it. Right, so first on the list is grills. Now, um, front bumper grill, there is a few options. Normally on a preface lift car, you'll have a seven bar grill as shown in this picture. And um, from that, the normal progression is to a three bar facelift or V6 grill. And um, this is a three bar grill. It's made out of a slightly different plastic and has a nice sort of darker matte look to it. Um, it's quite a popular option. They're quite readily available and you can pick them up for sort of between 50 and 80 pounds second hand or about 140 pounds new. Uh, moving on from the facelift grill, there is a couple of options, um, but they are quite expensive and quite rare, quite sought after, and that's the ABT, or ABT grill and the Project ZWO or ZUO, um, which is a single bar or a double bar grill. Um, and like I said, these are quite rare and quite popular. So when they do come up, they can be quite pricey. And by pricey, I mean between three and six hundred pounds, depending on condition, colour, and obviously who wants one at the time. Um, that being said, there is also a, a couple of other aftermarket options like a honeycomb grill um, and the RS Star grill. If you look on eBay and type in Audi TT Mark One grill, you'll see all these variations available, and they are available from anything from forty pounds. Um, so that is front grills now. Let's move on to front bumpers. Front bumpers, there is quite a few options within regards to styling. I'll start with the most popular one, which is a TT V6 front bumper. Um, this is the bumper removed from the 3.2 V6 TT. Um, it is basically exactly the same as the 225 at the top and on the lower section it has a slightly deeper valance which also has air inlets at the side at the front um, and this is a really popular option. They are reasonably ready available as the 3.2 TTs were quite a popular car in their day. Um, they do change hands for quite good money. Um, if a complete bumper, good condition, good paint with all the grills attached you could be looking at spending between sort of four and seven hundred pounds for one so do bear that in mind if it is something you're looking to do it can be quite pricey um, the other option similar to this and again similar money is the Votex kit which is you can buy as just a lip the likelihood of getting it as just a lip is quite low usually it's been bonded to a bumper and the likelihood of getting a new one is is very low because obviously they're quite old now um, but the Votex kit is again a lower valance but it doesn't have the vents at the side and it has kind of a swoop on the front um, and it does drop the lower, the lower part of the bumper out quite wide and is a very popular option. Again, these bumpers can trade hands for sort of four to seven hundred pounds, again due to condition and colour. Um, the other options there is available, there is a few options available in regards to add-ons um, and other things. Again, if you look on eBay, there's a company called Pro Tuning. They do a fiberglass equivalent of the Votex um, front lip. It's about £140, and if you've ever had fiberglass before, you know they can be quite fragile, so it may or may not be an option you want to look into, because if you do catch it, it may um, fall to pieces, so do bear that in mind. But yeah, jump on eBay, uh, Mark 1 TT front bumper splitter, or front bumper, you'll find loads of bits and bobs on there. One I forgot to mention with front bumpers is the ABT front bumper. Now, this is an extremely rare option, and to be honest, I've never actually seen one for sale. I've normally seen the cars for sale, and then people break them down and then use those parts on their car, or just keep it as an original car because they are quite rare now. It is quite an unusual shape, same as the rest of the kit, which we'll discuss in a minute. Um, but they, again, are quite a sort after price-wise. I couldn't tell you. You have to see what it comes like when it goes for sale but that is an option that I thought I'd mention and I'll show you a couple of pictures seeing as um, I've found someone who had one who was willing to share some pictures with me so that's great. Okay so spoilers now the most popular option um, is a bit of a two-parter is that is the V6 um, spoiler so it's effectively what you have on a 225 with an additional um, 
sort of black part at the back which extends the length of the spoiler now you can either buy a v6tt spoiler as a whole and then hopefully get one in your color or if you're like me and the likelihood of getting a nagaro blue one is low you can get the trim panel painted to match your color of your car or the other option is to buy an aftermarket lip which bolts onto the spoiler um, and you can either 3m tape it or tiger seal it to the edge of the um, spoiler. I'll show you an example of this. Uh, a friend of mine has done it and I'll show you a quick before and after now. Um, that is one of the, see this is the actual uh, V6 spoiler. He had the panels painted but you get the idea of the two options. Um, Money wise, uh, the stick on option is about £80 for the extension. Um, and genuine V6 spoilers are between 80 and 140 pounds depending on condition, color, and how many are available at the time. Um, the other options you have spoiler-wise is Vortex and ABT. Um, the ABT is quite a nice, smooth, sleek, sort of swoopy spoiler, and the Vortex is quite, uh, sorry, the Vortex is quite a wide and boxy spoiler. Um, I'll show you a picture of a couple of them now. Um, both are quite rare and quite hard to get hold of. Price, I couldn't tell you the price, but they are expensive. They're a couple of 300 pounds, I'd say. Um, but you can get replica fiberglass equivalents of these. Um, I have seen people fitting them and say they're quite good. And they're sort of 100, around 100 pounds on eBay. Again, fiberglass and will require some, well, some tweaking to get to fit correctly, shall we say, um, some sort of modifying to get them on. But that is your spoiler options. Right, let's move on to back bumpers. Okay, so rear bumpers will also cover diffusers at the same time. Um, so back bumpers, the V6 bumper is exactly the same as the original TT225 or 180 bumper, but it has a honeycomb diffuser on the back. Now this on the V6 is a plastic, much like the front grill, um, similar, fin similar finish can be um, done with a plastic gel coating to give it that sort of back to black or the Quattro Sport rear diffuser is painted um, to give you that sort of glossy black look um, obviously you could paint it yourself uh, these rear diffusers they pass hands for anything from 60 to 100 pounds um, again you can buy them new online if you do have a good look they can be a little bit more but it's not a bad mod and they're not too expensive to do and they are quite popular um, after that, you've got the options of changing the color of your one. So for instance, if you had a silver car, you could buy a black diffuser or get your one wrapped black. That's quite a popular option and gives that sort of the look that you might have the honeycomb diffuser, but it's not, it's just black. Um, Cloud9 Customs also do a, um, a fin kit. So you, fin, you screw like diffusers onto the fin. I'll put a picture up now so you know what I'm talking about. Um, and they're between 30 and 40 pounds for the kit to get that done. That's quite a popular option. Gives it that sort of track and aero look. Um, there is also bumper wise. So that's the diffuser kind of side of things. Um, bumper wise, there's an ABT rear bumper, which comes as a complete bumper. Um, it's a slightly different shape, slightly wider, and it allows to take dual exhausts twin on each side. Um, and there's an ABT rear bumper, which is quite a, boxy bumper with a lower section um, which has a sort of grill area at the back again I'll show you a picture so you know what I'm talking about and they are the most popular options for bumpers now let's go on to front splitters now front splitters I personally went for the Cupra R splitter because I wanted something reasonably strong that should I find a dip in the road and touch the splitter on the floor um, it's made out of a material that I might be able to take a little bit off the bottom and it wouldn't really matter too much. I didn't want anything fiberglass or carbon fiber because in the past I have destroyed them. Um, so for me personally, it's no good. Plus, if I do ever do a track day or go and do any spirited driving, I wanted something that was a bit more user friendly. Um, the other options we've got, which I'll pop some pictures up, is the Maxton Designs one, which is quite a nice um, splitter it does lower the front end a little bit which is quite a nice look I must admit I do quite like that and I did look at it before but again um, it doesn't quite suit what I want from the car or the restore 44 which is a splitter I'll show you now which gives you that kind of aero track look it's like a flat extension um, and it kind of looks like wood like on the track sort of the track touring cars they do that flat bottom 
um, and that's quite a popular one in the scene. Um, so that is splitters. Now there is other things you can find universal ones online. Um, it's all personal preference. I mean, you can make anything work with splitters. There's uh, extension tape that you can just tape all the way around, which follows the contours of the bumper. That's like twenty pounds. Um, the Cupra splitters sixty. The Restore 44 splitter is about 85 90 pounds and the maximum design one is about 120 pounds So it's not a massively expensive option to do the front splitters and it does quite sort of finish the front end off quite nice um, And it also makes it lower without actually having to lower the car So that is quite a popular option and the only other thing I thought I would discuss with you is the front plate blank um, I've obviously done this on mine if you've looked in our playlist you've probably seen the video already and that is to smooth off the front bumper with a plate which you can just sort of velcro on sticks onto the front and it gives it that nice smooth finish um, this is 60 pounds on ebay um, unless you can find one in painted in your color even better um, you do have to do a little bit of modifications to it but it's nothing uh, that's too hard to do so that's a nice little finish and then you can either get a little stick on plate on that or just have it for when you stop and take photos go to shows um, and all that sort of stuff so hope you've enjoyed this video that's just uh, some of the information i've found when looking for the most popular options for external upgrades now if you know of anything i haven't mentioned um, which is popular available or something you have that's a bit unusual um, put it down into the comments i'd love to see it um, obviously this list i've made from memory and having a good look on the forum over the last couple of months um, so yeah anything you know that i haven't seen pop it in the description we'll be more than happy to know um, we'll try and drop our next video every Sunday. So I'm going to try and do TT videos on a Sunday um, as best I can. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.